Welcome to the Tick Mill Update. I'm Kiana Danielle, the founder of the Investiva Movement. And Tuesday, we found out that the U.S. home building increased more than expected in November, and its manufacturing output also rebounded more than expected in November. China will grant regular tariff waiver waivers for the U.S. farm imports, and Canada's manufacturing sales declined 0.7%. On Wednesday, we have the UK CPI, Canada's CPI, New Zealand's GDP, and Australia's employment change. So it's going to be super busy. Today, I'm looking at the CAD yen pair on the weekly chart, which is once again stuck below the upper band of the Ichimoku cloud and the key resistance level of 83.5. The future weekly cloud is turning slightly bullish and we can see a potential formation of a reverse head and shoulder chart pattern with the neckline exactly at the resistance level I just showed you. All we need right now for a long-term bullish reversal to happen is a strong bullish momentum to break above the weekly Ichimoku cloud, in which case could open doors for more gains towards the 50% and 61% Fibonacci retracement levels of 84.55 and 85.65 respectively. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.